today is Monday. Um, it would be day six um, from my last treatment. I um, I feel like I'm slowly turning the corner. Uh, I definitely am not all the way there yet. I I need a couple more days. Uh, but yesterday at like nine something at night, it made it no, it made it forty eight hours since I had last threw up. Um, and like I mentioned before, for me. Once I go two days without throwing up, that means I'm slowly turning around. So it's been two days. Um, I've been eating regular food. Uh... I started eating regular food, I want to say, maybe over the weekend. Like, breakfast, I would have, like, eggs and bacon. Or, like, eggs, sausage, or hash brown, or something like that. Um, and I was able to keep that down last night for dinner. I had spaghetti, and um, that that was fine as well. Uh, now I'm just working on trying to, I guess you could say, hydrate. Um, as I mentioned plenty of times, it's hard for me to drink water, um, and um. My taste changes so often. I brought all this Gatorade. I brought these um, drinks called ice, like the sparkling water. I brought that. Preparing myself, you know. And the Gatorade I brought, I end up not liking it. The ice drinks I brought, I don't like them. Um, so, it, it's really frustrating because I, I try to plan ahead and, and buy certain drinks, um, that I know I like and then, then I, it turns out I don't like them. Um, so I brought like the mini Gatorades that were blue. I forget the name of them. Um, I brought a, a few of those and I didn't like them. So uh, I managed to drink one. It took me about two days to drink one of these small ones. Um, it's an old container, but we have um, like the Gatorade mix in the house. That's a grape flavor and I can tolerate that better. So I've been using this container to drink the um, the grape f uh, flavored Gatorade that that can be made. Um, so about the treatment itself, honestly, I didn't see much of a difference. Um, I'm sorry, I just did it. He said he took the dosage down. It don't feel like it. It didn't feel like it at all. The only difference that I noticed is that it hit me, like, right away. As soon as I got home, I, I kind of threw up within an hour of getting my treatment. And then, from then on, I threw up every six hours. <sighs> I really, 
I don't know what my other options are. Technically, I would have two more left, which would be February 21st and March 14th. But I'm going to be so serious. I, I really try my best to be brave this time and just say I got this because in my mind I remember he said he was taking the dosage down so I thought good and it just didn't turn out the way that the way that I had planned so I'm really just I'm not sure about the next two um I still haven't heard from our surgeon's office. I've called them twice. In fact, I'm going to call again once I'm done with this video um, because I really just want to get my MRI done ASAP. Um, the sooner I get that done, the sooner I get my results, and that'll determine if I even have to finish the treatments. That's what I'm really hoping for so um right now I would say it's a lot of dizziness for me it's hard for me to just even focus um when I'm down I'm down guys I don't answer the phone I don't return texts and I'm so sorry I'm just completely out of it I'm in the bed can barely move so today before my son left I told him to open the blinds and open the curtains and that hurt my eyes I've basically been in the dark for days but little stuff like that just I feel like it, it it will help me even though I'm still in the bed I feel like it will help you know with the you know bring some light into the room um a little I do have a doctor's appointment with my oncologist next week. So I'm sure um, we're going to have to discuss this treatment and how it went for me. I'm going to continue to um, try to hydrate as much as I can. Um, I'm still not drinking water. But as soon as I'm able to drink water, I will be guzzling it down. Um, I literally survive. I'll tell you what I survive off of um, when I'm like super sick like that and I'm down. I survive off apple juice, bananas, applesauce, and chicken noodle soup. That's literally what goes in my stomach on a continuous basis. Nothing more, nothing less. Um, and I do that because of the throwing up. I, the only thing different that I did this time is that every single time after I threw up, I ate something um, right away, whether it was applesauce or a banana I made sure I kept something in my stomach. Um, I knew it was going to come back up, but I did that because last time I had a really bad problem with me throwing up stomach acid, which burns your throat like no other. So I was doing small things to keep food in my stomach so when I did throw it up, it wouldn't burn my throat so bad. So that's what I've survived off of um, when I'm this sick. My weight fluctuates uh, because when I'm sick, 
I can't keep anything down. And I, um, of course, I'm constantly throwing up. Um, and then whatever I do eat, it's not really, I guess you could say, it's not a big meal or it's not an actual meal. So, like, I'll eat a little bowl of applesauce and then literally be done. And, and that's it. And then I'll probably eat a, a banana. And, um, it's just really nothing to keep my weight up, so to speak. So, even though I am eating those things, I'm throwing them back up. And I only eat them once I throw up. So for breakfast, I'll have a banana. Once I throw it up, I'll go back and I'll have applesauce. Once I throw it up, I'll try a banana again. Throw that up and then dinner I will have um, chicken noodle soup. Throw that up, I'll go, like I'll just rotate it. So I know my weight is fluctuating. Um which I can tell every time I go to the doctor when I f go for my follow-up, my weight is down because I've been completely sick. Then when I go for my treatment, my weight is right back to where it started because I'm eating every single thing I can lay my eyes on. <sighs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's the same thing with water. Once I get my taste back to, to wanting water, I just guzzle water bottle on top of water bottle on top of water bottle it's like insane um that's what happens when i get you know when i get that feeling of wanting water back then nothing can keep me away from it um same thing with food once my taste is coming back and i can taste food for the way it's actually supposed to taste nothing can keep me from eating I'm just, I want everything I see, I want to eat. And it's, it's really sad. Um, because like I've mentioned before, I've found myself, you know, when I'm good, waking up in the middle of the night, going in the kitchen to find something to eat. Like I'd be starving. So I don't know about that, but when I explained it to the doctor, he actually said, he was like, that's good. And I'm like, how's that good? He said, basically, I'm keeping, I'm keeping my weight. So even though it goes down, it goes back up because I'm eating. And then, as I mentioned before, one of my chemos, uh, side effect is weight gain while the other is weight loss so they kind of I guess balance each other out but yeah so that's the gist of everything I'm not a hundred percent nowhere close if I had to do a percentage wise out of a hundred where I'm at today I would say I'll put myself at about 60, 65. Um, the hardest thing is the dizziness and the focus. And I'm still weak. Um, if, if I can get that together, then I'll be okay. But I do feel like from this day on, it's only gonna get better so I decided to make the video today let you guys know what's going on um let you know how I'm feeling and yeah um that's about it I'm gonna try my best to to get better with each passing day. Um, I don't know how. 
you know, it's it's really water that I need. And I know I need it. I know my body wants it. But it's just I, I can't tolerate it. Um, so if I can just, you know, get myself hydrated, I know that I'll feel better. And all I'm wanting to do is rush that because the last time I didn't get a chance to feel better before it was time for another treatment. So I want to feel better as soon as possible because I just, I feel like I was gypped out last time of feeling good soon. Plus, um, you know, I want to be able to support my kids and you know, my daughter is doing a play, so opening day is coming up, and I, I want to be there to support her for that. Also, my son, he had a birthday on Wednesday, and um, we're basically holding off on celebrating until I get better, so I'm trying to hurry up and get better for that. Also, my birthday is the 23rd. Um, it's just, it, everything is like kind of together in one spot. Sorry, I have one glove on and one glove off because I can't use my phone or anything touch with my glove. So, um. Also, I went to say this. Also, I know I'm getting better is when I'm able to touch on my phone. Because um, typically, when I'm down, I have no phone. I don't, I don't do anything with my phone. My phone does not ring. My ringer stays off. So that's probably why you guys don't get a hold of me if you send a text. I literally can't respond. I'm just not okay. So I'm sure I'll respond to text messages today and going forward. But you guys have to understand it's just, it's hard. It's hard. I can't even watch TV or anything because the movement of the screen messes with me. So I literally lay in bed looking at the walls all day. I close my eyes and that still keeps the room spinning. It's it's a mess. It's nothing that you want to ever go through. Anyways, um, I thank you all again for supporting me, watching my channel, um, to get updates on how I'm doing. I really, really hope I can get a hold of someone so I can get an MRI done and figure out, you know, the progress of this. And, um, I hear a lot of people tell me, like, you're so close to being done. You're so close. You only have this many more or whatever. And it's like, I, I hear you and I understand you. But it's hard when you feel like the chemo itself is killing you. So it's really hard to accept the treatment when you feel like that treatment is literally going to be your last treatment because it's killing you. It, it's just the worst feeling in the world. But, um... Again, um, I'll be returning calls and texts. I know I should be getting better every day from here. So I'm not sure if I'll be making another video. If I don't, I put it this way. I'll make another video if I, you know, if there's a setback and I'm feeling bad or whatever. But as long as I continue to feel good going forward. I probably won't make another video until I'm done with my doctor's appointment next week. Um, other than that, I hope you guys have a, a good day and a good week. And thank you all again. Bye.